Good evening, ladies as well as gentlemen. Papa Boris here, playing some more Civilization VI. The last video got off to a good start. We found um, probably one of the best types of uh, city-states that you can possibly find, uh, a commercial one. The gold I'm getting from the city-state is almost certainly going to be relevant at some point in, the, in my career as Frederick Barbarossa in this game. Probably the only better type that you can get, honestly, is a religious one because that gives you free faith and gets you a pantheon without needing to put in the crappy God King policy. Um, I did make a mistake, however, because of a, a very weird corner case of the rules. If you're building a unit and then you research an upgrade for that unit, you will carry over and build the upgraded unit. However, if you make some progress on a unit and then research the upgrade, it does not save the production that you made on the earlier unit. So those like however many turns I spent working on that slinger, they were wasted. And that's going to suck. It's going to hold me back a little bit and uh, handicap me a tad, making this game more challenging. But anyhow, we just finished archery. So now the important thing is to pick up mining because um, I am going to want to have mining in place when this builder pops so I can get the luxury and the stone. And that's all I need mining wise for now. But that's important. And it's also going to be important, as I mentioned in the last video, to pick up uh, bronze working afterwards because I am going to want to get encampments and reveal iron on the map to see if I can get away with using swordsmen in this game. All right, so my warrior up here is just going to keep on going. Actually, I, I made some of these turns. I guess when I quit, the autosave didn't um, save some of these little moves. That's not a big deal. Let's go ahead and click the next turn. And I have to. I have a choice here. I have to choose. This is weird. We've got this like lane between two rivers. So I have to choose whether, whether I want to stay in this lane or go up. I think I want to go up. I want to find out what's over here to see if uh, one of my neighbors is over there and if I can find any barbarians. You generally want to take the time to take out barbarians, even accounting for the fact that you want to attack your neighbors pretty quickly, because if you don't, the barbarians will amass a lot of forces and cause problems. So you, I, I will want to take a detour to kill some barbarians if they're uh, near me, but it's kind of interesting. Uh, they're not in there. All right, so right here, I am actually going to go ahead and tell him that my capital is not open to visitors because I don't think he has any idea where my capital is, and I don't want him to know. This will make it much harder for him to mount an attack. One decision I have to make here is how to move the scout. Uh, I can move further west and then circle back later, or I can move up and just get this swath explored. I think actually um, going west is a little bit better because if I explore up this way, I'll find out what's up here sooner, but then I'm going to have like a whole lane that I need to explore, and I won't know whether to go up or north or south. Whereas if I start out getting this southern area as much as possible, then I'll be able to just kind of sweep north. I think that will work a little bit better. Okay, who is this? This is Japan. Okay, so there's Japan. They're down here somewhere. What I can tell, though, is they're pretty far from my capital, so it's not going to be a major priority for me to uh, take them out. What this does tell me is I probably i like, am going to want to settle down here before I settle up north because um, up there's like, there's like this huge river, and I can settle anywhere along it pretty much. Uh, but if I get down here and claim one of these locations, uh, then it's you know I'm going to do that before Japan can. I should actually think about that. This is some of this is pretty crappy. This is what like tundra. Some of this is pretty bad. So maybe like a spot in between the rivers, so I can start right away with the wheat and have a bunch of food. Of course, the problem here is there's no hills. Um, yeah, lack of good hills is a bit of an issue here. That's not a hill spot either. So we're not going to be able to build too many mines. I could just rely, I guess, on um, lumber mills later on for my production when I need to get it. Yeah, maybe what I'll do is let's take a quick look at the settler lens. Yeah, I, I might just, you know, just really keep it really simple. Just settle as close to my original and my capital as possible and then leave myself as many spaces as possible to, to settle down later on. Anyway, uh, who needs orders? The scout. Okay, so I could try to find Japan. It's not a very high priority for me. I'm going to just move a little bit more to the west. Oh, hey, there they are. Okay, so I guess maybe since I found them, I'll move in. Um, sometimes the AI is stupid and will let you snipe a worker or even sometimes a settler. So I'm definitely going to see if they have that on offer before I explore this area here, which I suspect is going to have a barbarian camp because it seems kind of weird that it wouldn't. Okay, let's go ahead and explore. So there's a scout. This is a tribal hut, I believe. So I'm going to want to pick that up before doing anything else. And there's a barbarian scout there as well. Interesting. So I can't actually move to this space because of zone of control rules. I could attack this thing. I don't see that much value to it. So either I go down here and move sort of inefficiently, or I just give up on exploring Japan and just explore this area here. Now let's take a look at Japan. I want to see if they have a builder I can steal. So there is one that I could maybe steal. We'll see if uh, Japan lets me do that. 
Right, let's explore up as much as I can, and then I'm going to be turning down to pick up the Goody Hut next turn. I couldn't hit it this turn because I was two spaces away, and it's in a forest. All right, so I finished mining, and I also got a builder out. Interesting. I can actually get the rice. So I probably what I really want is the quarry, the jade, and the rice. Uh, we got to do a little bit of math here to see what's going to take the fewest turns. So I believe I can go here and do this right away because I'm moving across the city so the river shouldn't count. So this is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven turns that way. Whereas if I go down, it'll be like one, two, three, four. Oh yeah, that's actually, I think it's actually weirdly faster to go get this stone first. I could be wrong. I'm not going to sit here and do calculus for five hours though. All right, do we declare war in Japan and grab this worker? Uh, I think so. I think having an extra worker is really valuable and I do not care about pissing off Japan. So we're totally going to do this. So uh, Japan, hey, hey buddy. Um, all right, let's declare a surprise war for no penalty. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and pop this worker. So does, does the worker have the ability to move? Not yet. That's fine. He's got no military to speak of. So we're just going to be able to ex escort this worker back through this unexplored terrain and then improve the capital some more. How much do I want to improve the capital, though, is the question. There's not that much left here. I guess the farms The farms would be good to, to, to have. Um, I was thinking maybe I could save the worker for my new city, which will be in probably this location. I don't see a compelling reason to go down here. I guess it gets more food and eventually... Mm, this actually makes some sense because it starts right away with the wheat and it lets me get the tobacco later on. Otherwise, I'm not going to want to make any cities down here. I guess this place? No, that place is legal. Oh, wait. There's a barbarian camp that spawned here. Okay, so we're going to have to... Is that is a barbarian camp, right? Yeah, barbarian apples. I'm going to need to... Sue, oh, geez. It's a bit tricky with my warrior being so far out of it, but... Um, this is going to eventually cause problems. I don't think Japan's going to take care of it for me, so I'm going to have to think about how to, whether I can afford to ignore that. Okay, so i got to think carefully now whether I want to access granaries. Writing, which gives campuses, is totally worthless, so I don't care about that. Uh, this is plantations, which I don't think I can actually make any use of at the moment. However, I'm going to want to go down this way eventually to get currency because it lets me get commercial hubs. I just don't see that happening anytime soon. Horseback riding is going to take like 10 turns after I get a pasture. I'm not in a rush for this. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get uh, the bronze working. The thing about bronze working is that I'm eventually going to kill three barbarians. I've killed none so far. I'm eventually going to kill three. So it sucks to research this without getting the Eureka. But again, it's one of those things where like this takes off seven turns or six turns from the research. And it's going to take me more than six or seven turns to kill three barbarians. Meaning I'm, I'm going to get this faster, like overall, uh, if I don't get the Eureka. I'm going to make less overall progress through my science tree. But I'm going to get that particular tech faster. And that's valuable to me because I want to start building an encampment. And I want to uh, see where iron is on the map. Okay, we've got to make some, uh, some choices here. This is a good time to make a settler uh, and start a new city. I find that it's very tempting to just like put those off. But I really just... I don't know. An archer is not going to have a super easy time clearing out this encampment. So I don't know. I think I just want to do the settler right now and start my new city early since now is kind of an awkward time to make an archer. One of the things I should point out is I like to make a settler pretty early because early empire to get this boost, it is way, way easier to do this with two cities than with one. So you kind of want to get this done in a reasonable time frame. I'm actually hoping to pick up all these boosts because while I don't normally care that much about boosts, the earlier you get to political philosophy, the better. And I'm almost certainly not going to meet three city-states. It's really hard on a tiny map to do this. So this is going to take me a long time to research. And uh, I want to save as much time as I can then in the early parts of the tree. Because if I'm going to have to do this by brute force, I at least want the other stuff to be faster. I'm still hoping. I'm still holding out hope. I mean, there are three city-states out here. It's just going to take a little bit of luck to actually find that many. Okay. Um. Yeah, we're going to keep the scout where it is. There's a warrior. There's a scout up here. Okay, let's actually, I don't have a choice. I'm taking the goody hut. Ah, I got a recon unit. That is a stroke of luck. Hey, Zanzibar. Wow, am I, am I the, uh, do I have, yep, it's me. Wow, this is actually really lucky. So I'm actually going to get to have my cake and eat it. I get to conquer this city state and then um, just keep that one. This one's also, an, oh God, terrible spot. It could have been, actually, these aren't river tiles, are they? Oh, they are. Yeah, it could have been next to a river. 
but it said it's on the coast. At least it gets plus one housing that way. I will eventually conquer this as well. It's just too close not to conquer, but that's giving me some really good gold income here, uh, which is going to help me out a lot later. I could even buy a military unit, honestly. Um, we could get like an archer uh, in... Once I move away the scout, I, could, I can purchase an archer. I could even purchase a warrior and then go clear out this encampment. The thing is, it's always tempting to just ignore these, but the longer that you ignore them, the more likely it is that you know, you're just going to get swarmed with a bunch of annoying units and have a bad day. I gotta think carefully about this. Um, can this guy move right now? He can. Okay, perfect. So what we're gonna do is I think use the scout to escort my, actually, that's a stupid idea. Settler's not coming for nine more turns. Using that to escort my settler seems like a poor use of my time. Hmm. I can at least get some scouting done before I commit to that plan. Well, anyway, uh, we'll scout around here and maybe I can stop any scouts from this camp from making, to making it to my capital. Uh, using my zone of control. All right, do I want anything different here? I could I could go now for God King and try to pick up the uh, the Pantheon, but I'm I'm committed. I really want to get the stuff done as fast as possible, especially since I lost a few turns. Naval units obviously do not help me, so we're gonna leave everything as it is. And now, um, craftsmanship. I'm pretty sure that in the next eight turns or seven turns, I'm gonna get the the, the boost for it. Let's take a quick look here. So this warrior needs one, two, three, four turns. Yeah, it's going to happen. So we're going to get craftsmanship. I pretty much mostly just care about making sure I don't miss the boosts. Okay, there's a scout coming in. Crud. Well, I have to just put my scout in the way because otherwise he can actually take over my warrior. So I need to put my scout in the way. Whether he saw my capital enough to go back to his home base and start more unit spawns is something I'm not sure about. So with this warrior, I have a couple of options. I can, I can send him out, but I really need to explore what's out here and maybe even bring him all the way back to take out this encampment i'm not sure about that yet okay we're gonna we're gonna put the builder in escort formation with the scout and start to send him back uh, uh there's a little lake here okay i think we can probably go around the lake up this way hoping that works all right and then japan's chasing me that's fine oh no i just ended up going straight that's a straight shot it works out as well Okay, so the scout ended up going back. Let me see what I should do with this scout here. I could just, you know, go here, basically, and keep an eye on this encampment. Yeah, let's try that. I don't, I don't want to, you know, dick around here. So we're going to queue the warrior up to go here. Get that mine. Actually, do I need this amenity? Yeah, I guess the amenity would be helpful. It might be better to get a farm, but that's fine. All right, so uh, we'll swing back up here. See if I'm missing anything in this fog around Jakarta. All right, Japan's still chasing me. That's should not be a problem. All right, so we got all that explored. There's obviously no city-state in here. That would be way too crazy. But if I could find one more city-state, that would give me a boost for political philosophy, which would be really, really huge. So the scout, I might just want to send him out. No, no, no. What I want to do, I think, is once this builder is safe, I'm going to send this scout out. Just I'm going to put him on auto-explore, and I hope he finds some city-state before he finds his doom. All right, so let's make a mine. All right, so what does that do? So that makes this uh, one production, two food, and a culture. That's actually not bad. My culture is very slow here. So I certainly uh, don't want to lock this forest when this tile is currently strictly better. All right, and this scout, I don't know. I think keeping it there might just be a mistake. I, I really... No, I'm going to have a scout who's going to be doing some exploring. I would like his... My, the Barbarian Scouts to have a harder time making it out of here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fortify him at the moment. The other thing is this scout could then be used to help fight the Spearman if I send an Archer here. So the Archer is what I'm going to make next. Okay, so i got to really strongly consider with all my gold buying an Archer. The reason that that's helpful is it would let me get this um, camp and then maybe even come back in time before I make more Archers. I'm going to do this. Time is of the essence here in these early parts. A Trader would also be good to have. Um, but I think I want to just get that city-state taken care of as soon as I can. Or not the city-state, the barbarian outpost taken care of as soon as I can. All right, Japan is obviously not going to catch me through all this foliage. And the warrior. Um, it's going to be a while before I fight Jakarta. I could just peek up here and see if, like, there's one more city-state over there. I'm going to just send the warrior on, like, a little scouting mission and hope to find that third city-state for the bonus for political philosophy. 
All right, we're trundling on through. This is actually some pretty nice stuff. Is there anything I can settle here? Um, for some reason, this is turning up as bright green. Is there like a river here or something? Anyway, this is this is actually pretty sweet. Obviously, I don't want to settle on the wheat, but this forest. Let me see. Hang on a minute. If I settle here, I can still settle on that forest there. Perfect. So this is pretty good. Pretty good for food and production. Um, with the with the wheat, I can make some farms. Yeah, that's pretty great. Actually, I might even want to settle that first. Hang on a minute. Is that better than this place in the short term? Um. Yeah, this has, I don't know, this has some more food over there. I don't know, my gut's telling me that over here is better in the short term. Because it has more production, right, with all these forests. Problem is it's, uh, it's rainforest and it's not on a hill. At least I could use, I guess I could use the builder, though, to chop. I could use the builder to chop these rainforests. They're not very valuable since they're not on hills and they can't build mining camps on them. So I could do that and use some of my extra builder charges on it. I don't know. Anyway, I don't have to decide that yet. Uh, so who needs orders the archer? Okay, so with the archer, geez, this scout. Well, it's gonna go back to whatever barbarian outpost is out here, but it's not showing up in the fog. So maybe I can just ignore it. I'm not gonna kill it. It's gonna run away. Yeah, I need to go and take out this um, encampment from the barbarians. I also want to free up my scout for doing actual exploration. Okay, so this boosts craftsmanship. And I happen to also get a lot of good stuff from doing that as well. So that's nice. Japan is still chasing me. Oh, man, this this Japan is going on the chase. Um, let's go ahead and get bonus production towards Ancient and Classical Era Melee and Range Unit. Double experience for recon is not that valuable. Don't need the bonus production towards builders. So I got to really think here. I mean, maybe this archer is better used to fight off this warrior. Crud. It's kind of annoying to have that warrior all the way over here. Um... So what's going to happen first, me building a district or me getting up to six population? So I, will I get up to six within seven turns? Ah, it's a tight call. Got to think about this because this is going to drop to three. When I refound the city, I'm going to go back up to five. How quickly is, does this city grow? It grows pretty fast. It's got pretty good food. So I don't think I'm going to waste the boost for early empire. What I'm going to do, then I'm going to start that. If that ends up not happening, then I'll try to remember to switch over when it's around halfway, and then I'll definitely not miss either one. Okay, so the archer... Shoot. Um, okay, the warrior stopped following me, so that's good. So the archer will go here, and we'll start taking pot shots at these spearmen. No, the warrior did follow me over. Okay. Well, then. Um, yeah, this warrior will kill off my scout, so that's a problem. Um... This archer might need to... Uh, well, let's see. How quickly can I build an archer now? Three turns? All right, we'll just do that. That's That should be fine. Although, if I don't use this archer, then my settler is not going to be able to make it. I'm not going to be able to send my settler to pretty much either one of the locations if this warrior is still chasing me. Shoot. So my, uh, this, my, my dealing with that outpost has to be delayed. I'm going to have to move my archer back here and uh, pass the turn. And then the settler, I just basically want to send him wherever I can found a city. Oh, this is actually a legal spot? Interesting. I don't think it's a good spot. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and send him to these woods, I suppose. There's some stuff out here compensating for the shittiness of the uh, the tundra. So we're going to send him out here and kind of use the archer and the scout to protect him as he goes there. Oh my god, did I find... I found a third city-state. Hello, Toronto. Am I the first one? I... Sh am not all right so i do not get the uh production towards buildings wonders and districts which is a shame it's a shame because i would have wanted that to help make the outpost get built faster send a trade route to toronto man all my trade routes are gonna are usually internal because those are the best ones i don't know if i can reach toronto with a trade route from here but that is actually worth it to get two production towards the encampment that i would actually do it um if that's what it came to so all right we'll give it a shot so let's uh, have a major victory here. Does the scout want to attack this? That's a terrible idea. All right, so um, settler, you can keep moving and be guarded by the archer. And we got a scout here. Okay, so you need to like stop the scout. So there with zone of control, we'll stop the scout from advancing too far. Settler can move to this space, but there's no need to. So we'll just park there, skip your turn settler. And the scout doesn't need to move. So I got to be careful here because... Oh, no, there's a, there's a river. So the warrior cannot reach this spot because there's a river in the way. All right, so we're going to move the builder over. 
I have a real decision to make here. Is any of this stuff rainforest or is it all forest? This is rainforest. This is rainforest. Oh, these are all rainforests. So I kind of want to chop those. The thing is, um, I don't want to chop them on the archer. I'd much rather chop them for the encampment and get that up sooner. So I don't want to do that yet. This thing has two charges. All right, here's what we'll do. Let's break escort formation. Go here and plant a farm. Oh, shoot. Did I mess up? No, I didn't mess up. You always want to leave one space next to your capital, next to a river, so that you can build an aqueduct later. I can put a farm here, though, and use a... Actually, this one of these places, right? I can... Yeah, once I chop the rainforest, I can put the aqueduct here. So, yeah, we're going to use this later on to make uh, help make the encampment. Now, this scout does not want to be attacked by the warrior either. Um, So, yeah, I guess we'll go hide in the woods. Now, this warrior, I'm guessing, will run. Nope. Okay. Not doing that very well. So we're going to shoot the warrior again. And we're in a bit of an awkward spot here because the settler now cannot advance. It'll get munched by the warrior. Oh, no, I have a scout here, right? What am I talking about? Yeah, so we're going to move the scout to the woods, let the settler move forward one space and be protected. Uh, even with the scout and the warrior attack, the scout, my scout isn't going to die. And then this guy can actually move... Uh, I, I really want to explore, although exploring is not that dire. I got lucky and found a third city-state. So this warrior, I'm going to go ahead and start sending him back, I think. Uh, it's tempting to keep on exploring, but I really want to make sure he's there when I'm ready to attack Jakarta. The question is, when am I actually going to be attacking Jakarta? I still need to kill this encampment, and I need to get a third archer. So it's not going to be that soon. I could explore a fair bit more. Yeah, let's go up a little bit more and see what we can find. All right, this scout obviously needs to guard the settler, so he is done for the turn. And then that builder. Uh, yeah, this is perfect timing. So we're going to put him on the rainforest, and then when I start building the encampment next turn, we're going to chop the rainforest and get that encampment up sooner. Now, who is this? Scout. All right, well, um, let's see. You can actually move because the builder is safe there. The warrior can't reach him. Uh, yeah, let's go up here this way and then try to explore some of this uncharted territory i'd still like to find my other opponents besides japan there are two more out here all right so we got another archer um this archer will not be able to shoot this warrior this turn so that was pretty good placement on his part what i'm going to do then is move the settler to the location i want to settle which i still think in the middle here if i go in the middle then this space becomes illegal yeah let's go here they're not like that different that i really care that much yeah, so we're going to go there. Obviously, then I need to protect the settler from being conquered. And then my archer's got nothing to really do as far as this Japanese warrior is concerned. So I will go here and shoot at the enemy scout for almost instant lethal damage. And then the scout can just keep on going. Oh, Crater Lake. What do we got going on here, Crater Lake? So it's just four faith, one science. Interesting. Um, it's fresh water. Oh, I see. I see. That's what, that's why these are all nice places. I see. Okay. That's actually really cool. I, if I get an extra person in this city at some point that I found here, I might just stick them on this place for like, I don't know, it should be like five, six turns just to uh, get the Pantheon, um, and give up some temporary production that way without having to use the stupid card. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get a trader because I want the bonus for building districts from Toronto. I want to get that Envoy. How much farther up do I want to explore? I kind of would like to find the coast up here. All right, that builder. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, Crap, the builder is here ready to chop, but I'm not ready to build the thing that requires chopping yet because I need one more turn to get the bronze working for the encampment. All right, Um, is it worth it to build the trader for four turns and then... Send it to get an envoy in Toronto to get plus two production on the encampment, as opposed to just starting the encampment earlier and chopping it sooner. Um, I don't know. I kind of want that bonus anyway. So yeah, we'll take the time. We'll do this. So we'll make the trader send him to Toronto for the for the envoy bonus. Okay, who needs orders? Builder. Okay, so you're gonna just sit tight then and for a little while here. The archer. Um. I'm not ready to take over Jakarta yet, so I'm going to send the archer down just because right now another barbarian spawned here. Okay, so the settler is finally ready to settle. Oh, no, it's... it's No, the settler moved here. Right, right, right. The settler uh, is not ready to turn. We have to hit next turn first. I'm also interested in okay, so a couple of things happen now. First of all, we're going to found this city. Second of all, I want to see if there's iron on the map. 
So I like to use strategy view. It's a little bit easier to see where the resources are. Not much, admittedly, but it's a little bit easier. So any of you fools have iron. So there's horses here. Stone, no. Cattle, rice. Okay, so this is one of those cases. Oh, there's iron. There it is. Yeah, I'm not going to be getting there for a while. Although, to be fair, if I do conquer Toronto, that would be a bit of a trek for my archer army. And the Toronto might have walls and stuff by the time I get here. Yeah, the Toronto will definitely have walls and stuff by the time I get there. So uh, I could conquer Toronto. This is within reach of Toronto. Is there anything better, please? I mean, you really can't ex you can't get angry when you don't have a strategic resource. That's just how this game is. Like strategic resources are super rare. So the fact that I have any iron on the map at all right now is a bit of a stroke of fortune. But this is going to be tricky. So it means that I'm definitely not going to be using swordsmen. I'm going to take advantage of these horses from Jakarta to uh, use horsemen, which are just like swordsmen, but they move faster and have a penalty against anti-cavalry units as opposed to a uh, plus 10 bonus. However, the AI doesn't really use spearmen very much, rightfully so. They do more or less suck. So um, I don't mind using horsemen at all, and I like the mobility. That's certainly really good. And then later on, our long-term goal will be to get this iron up here by conquering Toronto. So uh, this scout has a promotion. I guess I should really, like use that let's move two spaces and then promote so i don't know if hills are forested it looks like a pretty forested map but it's usually you kind of end up wanting both of them all right so now we can research and i have to really consider getting horseback riding the thing is i don't need horses yet i'm not going to use horses to take over jakarta so i don't really need that uh what i would like to go for then i think is currency just so that i can uh start building commercial hubs in my cities. I feel like I don't need any plantations yet. That's a pretty quick pickup anyway. So currency is important. And then after that, we're gonna go for machinery because building lumber mills improves your uh, productivity tremendously. And of course that'll make us uh, make, our, make our archers better. Along the way, we're gonna pick up engineering and catapults, which are important for taking out cities. Uh, you can also use the um, siege tower to take out cities. Um, so that and catapults are comparably good. I am going to want some walls at some point, just because walls are so good for protection, but I'm going to delay that as much as I can. Right now, I think we should be fine just getting currency and then uh, going after uh, the catapults. Anywho, uh, we got a scout here. He's done. We got a new city here. So here, I'm not exactly sure what the best call is. I could just default to a monument just because I don't need anything else. Um, but I think making an archer is fine. I'm definitely going to need the archer at some point. All right, I can attack the warrior for um, a major defeat, which is not super great. This archer, I can move. Do I want to move one space? That would let the warrior attack me. I could, like, stick the scout in the way and, and do some trickery. Yeah, let's do that. Let's stick the scout in the way to stop the warrior from being able to attack my archer. And we'll take a shot. Okay, this builder is going to sit tight until I make I start making my encampment. The scout um, could actually stalemate here. Trying to decide if that's worth it. I think it is. Uh, that way the scout can actually kill off the warrior himself. And can I actually get here? Or is this all rough terrain? I don't think I can get there. Yeah, that's hills. So chasing the scout is futile. I'm not going to get there. Um, I have to decide like which way I want to do my scouting. I think I'd like to find this area more than what I, than like what I care about, the tippy top of that area. All right, so we have a, an archer here. And I think the archer is going to try to get towards this encampment. Okay, the war did the barbarian warrior just suicide himself? I think he did. Okay, so let's take a quick look here. Um, we have early empire about halfway done. I'm not quite going to hit the Eureka for it. So I'm going to start on state workforce to avoid wasting that boost. My culture production is low because I don't think building monuments early on is worth it. So the boosts make a pretty big difference. All right, this scout... Do I just hit him on auto explore? I'm just gonna hit auto explore. I, I, it's not mechanically the most valid thing, but uh, I feel like, you know, it's just saves me having to worry about that stuff, and uh, it's worth it for me. All right, so the warrior is gonna have two more turns of sleepy time. Let's think about positioning for the archers. What kind of terrain is this? This is grassland. Okay, so I'll be able to shoot from this forest and from this march marsh. So let's just send one there, and the other. I messed up. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, the scout can move. Good. So we're going to put the scout in the city. Fortify it till healed. And then this archer can move down like that. 
All right, so the Spearman left the camp, which means this archer can actually uh, sneak in there. However, I think just shooting the Spearman twice is fine. Uh, have I ever mentioned I hate auto cycle? This is like gonna be the, the happiest day in everyone's life when uh, the, uh, the developers finally implement an option to turn off the auto cycling. Okay, so the trade route has one more turn, builder sleeps one more time, and then this warrior. I could chase this barbarian warrior to knock him out, but I don't really see that much value for it. Let Toronto deal with it. We'll just keep exploring this way. Oh yeah, there's Japan. Hey, can we peace out? Can we, can we make peace yet? All right, so just make peace. I don't suppose you'll give me any gold. No, or any gold per turn. Even one, come on, come on. No, <laughs> yeah, right, jerk face. Okay, so we're just gonna make peace, that's fine. I don't need to be at war with them. I don't want any war weariness or anything like that. And I don't wanna be fighting with them when I encounter them out here, as we're just trying to scout around. Okay, so I got the boost toward early empire, which means I can turn back over to it to finish it off. Give me maximum time to get uh, the other one. Okay, this is awkward. This is very awkward. I hate how awkward this is because the builder now I can't use him yet because the trade route's not finished. Um, but if I leave him here, the scout's gonna kill him. So I gotta think about this. Can I actually kill that scout? Not in one shot, right? All right, here's, here's what we're gonna do. Um, let me just real quick. Make sure this archer has a move as well. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna move this archer. We're gonna kill this scout. That, oh, cut, dip, bip, bip. That allows my builder to stay where he is so I don't have to dick around with him. And it doesn't delay too much me killing off the spearman and taking over this outpost. Okay, so now this warrior can move. This builder can keep on sitting. All right, something happened. I found somebody, some new city-state quest towards settlers and pillaging a town. All right, so I'm not gonna need to change my policies. I'm fine. Ooh, Kumasi, you've got some culture here. I don't suppose I was the first one. Nope. Lots of city-states though here in a short succession. Let's take these quests. Trade route, inspiration for state workforce. Don't know what that is. And destroy barbarian outpost within five tiles. Uh, I don't see a barbarian outpost within five tiles. Sorry, sorry, bud. I'm sure it's in the fog of war that I missed. Anyway, uh, let's take a look at state workforce. I believe that's actually a civic. State workforce. I don't have to actually, you know, research it. Oh, build a district. I will get that. Yes, I will, that, that was definitely in the cards. In fact, why don't we actually start researching this thing? Because we're going to be getting political philosophy for sure now. Okay, so I got to think carefully here. I, 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 I think I just want to do this encampment because, you know... I'm gonna want this eventually. It's always very tricky where you place your encampment. Um, this place, I don't have to buy a tile. I lose a rainforest, but I don't care about that much. Or I can spend gold to put him somewhere else. Um, where do I think is gonna be the most useful is of course, the perennial question. You want, you want it to be somewhere where the, you know, the AI is gonna be coming at you so that you can defend yourself. So kind of out here makes some sense. It does mean I don't get to have like a farm adjacent to this farm. I could have like some farm adjacency going on if I do this. Um, I could actually really fork over the gold and put it in this place because this place is just crappy. It's just a plains river space. It's total garbage. And then that could, you know, potentially shoot at a wide area. Granted, then it's in the middle of forests, so it's not going to be able to shoot out very much. I mean, mostly what I want from this encampment is the ability to uh, produce units without having to spend strategic resources. I actually haven't talked about encampments much. Encampments are really good. It's one of those things where the first time you play, you don't really realize how good encampments are, but it's just not any one thing they do. It's just they do a lot of different things that add up over time. So they give you a strategic resource of every type. They give you housing. They give you production. They give you some defenses, extra shots, and extra impassable terrain for your enemies. There's just like a, so much there that it's, it's you know, ends up being really valuable. Um... Gotta think though, 40 gold, it's it's 40 gold. What am I gonna want this tile for? I mean, other than just chopping it, I don't know, maybe not that much. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and save the gold. Oh, the other thing is where you put the encampment, of course, is where units come out. So am I gonna want my units coming out of this spot for the rest of the game as opposed to coming out in a more like outwardly facing location? In the short term, though, these are the dudes that I want to conquer, Zanzibar and Jakarta. So having an encampment here isn't bad. I could save the rainforest 
and put it here. And I might be more inclined to do that if it was like a forest and not a rainforest, but rainforests, you can't improve them. So unless I want to save it later on for chopping with the builder, it's not that valuable to me. Yeah, 65 gold is a lot. I think one of the big mistakes I see people make is they spend gold too loosely on, on, on um, getting tiles. And it's tempting to do that here because I do happen to have two commercial city states, which gave me a big influx of gold in this game. But I want to save it. I want to be cautious with it, you know, so when I can build units at critical times and so that I can uh, expand tiles when I really need them. And I don't feel like I really needed it here. Okay, so we've got that started. Now the builder can finally, uh, you know, remove this rainforest for a boost to the encampment and also a boost to the population of the city. The trade route, we're going to go to Toronto, even though it's like pretty much crappy because uh, that completes a quest. Uh, this guy does not like us making common ground with city-states. Yep, nope, sorry. Going to ignore you on that one. Uh, this warrior, I don't want to put him on auto-explore. I think it's time for him to head back, and I'm hoping that the archers will be done in time for that warrior to be in position. So, uh, back into the forest you go, back into the plains you go, and there's a scout somewhere? You, there, okay. Um, yeah, you should be exploring, probably? Let's, uh, let's have him explore kind of down southward. This is like my extra scout, or one of my scouts is my extra scout, so I don't really care about it too much. So, now... We're going to have one archer pick up the camp and the other archer actually take the kill. Writing means sharing. All right, what happened here? I need more housing already. Great. Wonder completed. Stonehenge. And then we have one of the archers with a promotion available, which I will do at some point. All right, the encampment's almost done thanks to the sweet bonus from Toronto and from chopping the rainforest. And I think we're going to go ahead and call it here. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and or subscribe if you did. And I'll be back soon to continue this game and have some more Civ 6 gameplay. Take care, everybody.